Welcome to Aqueduct, the World Resources Institute's portal for measuring and mapping water risk. The Water Risk Atlas is the core tool within Aqueduct. The atlas brings together a comprehensive set of physical, regulatory, and socioeconomic indicators of water risk to create a detailed map of water risks facing companies and their investors. The atlas allows you to customize its water risk indicators and create your own maps. This video will introduce you to the Water Risk Atlas prototype and teach you how to use the tool to examine water risk. To learn more, visit wri.org slash aqueduct. From the home page, click on the Water Risk Atlas tab. The atlas will open in your web browser. For the best performance, we recommend you use Google Chrome. At the top of the page, you can choose how you want to use the atlas. First, select a basin to examine. In this prototype, only the Yellow River Basin in China is available. Second, you can choose between using absolute data or trend data. Absolute data uses the most recent information available. Trend data is projected five years beyond absolute data. Scrolling down, you will see the heart of the Water Risk Atlas, a set of geographically specific indicators of water risk which can be assigned individual weights to create a comprehensive and customized map of water risk across the selected basin. The risk indicators in the atlas are divided into three main categories, each with its own tab. Access and growth constraints, cost risks, and disruption potential. For this tutorial, select the second tab, the cost risks category. The three yellow columns represent the three risk subcategories under the cost risks category. These subcategories are influent, effluent, and productivity. The risk indicators themselves are grouped together within columns. For example, in the first column, the indicators Water Reuse Index and Relative Water Quality Class are averaged together into Influent. Hover your mouse over the name of an indicator for a brief description. For a more detailed description of each indicator and the methodology used to generate their risk scores, click on the Framework tab at the top of the page. Subcategory risk scores are the weighted average of the indicators that make them up. In turn, the scores for each subcategory are averaged together to calculate a risk score for the entire category. Click on the Framework tab to learn more about the indicators and how they are organized. If certain categories of risk, subcategories, or even individual indicators are more or less relevant to your analysis, you can adjust their weights accordingly using the slider bars. Changing the weight of a category or indicator will give it more or less influence over the overall risk score. For example, if you are particularly concerned about risks related to influent treatment, you can increase the weight of the subcategory influent. This will give influent scores more influence over the cost risk category it is averaged into. Selecting a preset risk profile automatically adjusts all the indicator, subcategory, and category score weights to reflect the water priorities of that sector, as determined by a panel of water sector experts convened by WRI. The prototype currently has preset risk profiles available for the thermal power sector and the beverage sector, as well as a default neutral weight setting. Once you have either set your indicator weights manually or selected a preset risk profile, click on the Map Overall Risk button. The Atlas will calculate water risk levels based on your parameters and display the results in the interactive map at the bottom of your screen. You can also see risk maps for individual indicators, subcategories, or categories by clicking on the appropriate Map button. Numeric scores appear beside the weight adjustment sliders. These numeric scores show how high the risk level is compared to the average risk for the river basin. You may notice that some risk indicators or subcategories are highlighted in red. This indicates that particular risk score is significantly different from the basin average. By default, the risk scores displayed are averages for the entire river basin. Click on a spot on the map, or search for coordinates or an address, and the water risk scores will update for that particular location. Because no two businesses are exposed to exactly the same types of water risk, each different risk profile you input will generate a unique, geographically specific risk analysis of the basin. This is the aim of the Water Risk Atlas, to provide the next level of context and specificity to your understanding of water and how it can impact business. To learn more about how WRI built the Water Risk Atlas, click on the Framework tab at the top of the page. To learn how you or your company can participate as we expand on the Aqueduct Project and the Atlas, click on Get Involved.